Yo, what's up? This is Thomas. We are at Higher Level Tattoo Supply. Here at Higher Level Tattoo Supply, we aim to conveniently provide quality tattoo supplies to every professional artist throughout Arizona. So we highly suggest you check us out on Instagram or pull up into the store. We also have a website that we're totally revamping so that way you guys can get your quality supplies even more conveniently. So come by the store and we hope to see you soon. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's been about two weeks since the last time I posted. Uh, I was celebrating my birthday and Queen's birthday. We were in Cali, chilling and vibing. Merch. Fashion Nova, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys my experience at the Body Art Expo. Tell you guys how you can prepare if you're thinking about going to an expo. I'm gonna split it in four simple steps. Step one, how to pack. All you need is your tattoo machine, tattoo supplies, and your armrest. And if you're doing a thigh tattoo, a massage table. The less things you take, the less stress you're gonna have, and the more time you're gonna spend focusing on your tattooing. The only thing I had in my booth was my machine, my massage table, and my business cards. But I was doing a really cool tattoo, so I had a lot of people stop to ask for my information. What I'm trying to say is that you can have a really fancy booth, but if you're not doing a unique tattoo that's making people stop and look at your work, then having a fancy booth, it's pretty much pointless. Everybody got that? Should I dab? Little dab? Step two! I was walking around this expo, right? And after talking with a few artists from out of state, this is the feedback that I got from them. Tattooers that booked appointments prior to the expo had a really successful weekend. Then the ones who took walk-ins. That's how it is. Artists who booked appointments in advance were able to make a profit. All they had to do was show up and tattoo. Plus, they were able to plan ahead, customize, do a solid tattoo, and that is definitely gonna help them to gain more clients. Artists that were expecting walk-ins definitely did not have a successful weekend. They had to spend money on plane tickets, maybe gas money and food. Also, walk-ins usually get small tattoos, so you're not able to show off what you can actually do. My recommendation is for you to be... Uh, <laughs> my recommendation for you to... Be, uh, <laughs> my recommendation would be to build connections within the cities you visit. Boom, son! My name is Chris McGeorge. My friends call me McG. I am the apprentice here at Innovative Inc. And here's my experience at the expo. My perspective at the expo was definitely eye-opening being my first time. Uh, I had never been to one at all. How to come prepared as a client. I would definitely say bring a pillow or a jacket, but you don't need much. Um, I brought my backpack with like a book and headphones and make sure all my stuff was charged. I brought some chargers and some water. So. That's pretty much all you need because um, you're going to be getting tattooed the whole time. Uh, going up, being a part of the competition was really fun. Uh, just getting my number, standing in line, looking at, you know, the competition of the day and see what everybody else got done. Going up on the stage and having the judges uh, judge the tattoo, it was, it was a lot of fun. The best part was probably walking around the stage at the end and kind of showing off the leg and seeing all those people's reactions like in the crowd. So. Follow me on Instagram, Tattoos by McG. Thank you guys. See ya. Final step. The fourth and final step. Competitions. Me to turn it up. Next judge is number 26, George. 26, George. 27, Shelly. Yeah, I'm
27, we love the Shelly. 27, Shelly. 28, Noah. So for this expo, I wanted to enter for best of the day, so I invited our apprentice of the shop, Mig G. Mig George! There's that guy. So I invited him to get tattooed at the expo live to enter for best of the day, uh, so he can allow me to do a crazy ass tattoo on him, but we lost. That's it, we lost. Okay, we didn't lose. We just didn't win. I was upset. It is a competition. I'm a competitive person. But I understand. It is what it is. I'm feeling disappointed. disappointed. The fact that I didn't win best of the day, but it's fine. We try again tomorrow. Or any other, any other categories. No. <laughs> we'll keep to but tomorrow, it I, it's my day. I can feel it. It's the cover-up category, so right there, right there. Number 15, Alberto Alazar. Kevin Reyes is the artist. Innovative Inc. is the shop. Shout out to Kevin for taking best of the day. Congratulations, man, you killed it. I'm gonna put his information right here, or right here, or maybe right here. Go follow him and show some love. First place goes to number 17, Lane E. Kevin Bradley is the, the artist. Tim Wax is the shot. Fuck yeah. you, Kevin. Nice job, buddy. Talk to the vendors, 11 o'clock to the public. I went to talk to one of the judges, Manuel Flores, owner of Next Level, to explain why my tattoo didn't make the cut, and hopefully you guys learned something from this. Yeah, yeah the exactly. thing that hurt you was the fact that it had too much red, mm -hmm. the, the, the redness, it hurts like the legitimacy of the tattoo. Uh, okay. Then, the other issue is, is the longevity of the tattoo. I see when the tattoo's first done, people do big, big tattoos, and it's dope, but then when it heals, a lot of times, yeah. you didn't really fully saturate the tattoo. So yeah, what yeah. happens is the tattoo lightens up some. So then, with these large tattoos, when it heals up, it ultimately needs another like session, yeah. another layer, yeah. right? Well, usually what I do, I just I just go at it with like solid black, and then uh, it heals, you know, exactly how it, is. it looks fresh. Because I usually just use two grays and two blacks. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't really dilute anything that I that I that I how I That's not it. gray wash. No, that's not gray wash. It's all solid black and two grays. What uh -huh. I would like to see is I want to see your tattoos. Uh huh. I want to see them heal. And then uh, I usually post a lot of heel tattoos, uh, like this right here. This is uh, fully heel. One pass, California. Very beautiful. Yeah. So us, like I'm an older guy. You gotta fucking, you gotta stay sharp. You gotta keep pushing because <laughs> these guys are coming for it. You know what I mean? I'll try again yeah. tomorrow, man. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Appreciate that it. Nice to meet you as well. It was nice to meet you, uh, uh, sir. Uh, you got a great contender. Uh, I appreciate yeah. you guys talking. About yeah, of course. Good night, guys. Thank you so much, Manuel Flores, for taking the time to talk to me and sharing your feedback. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow his socials and show some love. So I ended up writing down, uh, I'm gonna narrow down what he explained for you so you guys can understand better on what judges look for in competitions. Make sure that you finish your tattoo two hours prior before the competition starts. Send your client on the stage with a glove and a paper towel so he can be wiping any plasma or blood of the tattoo so judges can see the whole entire thing clearly. I hope this video motivates you to attend to an expo. To what? To attend an expo. An expo? Yeah. To, to, to attend. To attend an expo. To attend an expo. To attend an expo. All right. <laughs> attend an expo. Attend an expo. And get your name out there. Show off your work to the world, bro. Show off your, Show off your work. World. Meet people, build connections, travel. Go to all these expos. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Why are you lifting my feet? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> as far as the scavenger hunt, there's only one clue left, a single one. And if, if you find this clue, you win a four by four free tattoo. This last clue is gonna be here at the shop. Whoever gets here first, gets the free tattoo. Boom. <laughs> See you guys next week. Peace.